and welcome to Wedding Wednesday. Today's topic is about your wedding day makeup. Now, first of all, you have to determine when you're getting married. All of that has to do with choosing your makeup. Is it the daytime? Is it the evening? Is it a night wedding? Is it on a beach? Is it at a cathedral? Is it a formal wedding? Is it a casual wedding? All of that determines what kind of makeup you're going to get. Because if you're getting married in the morning, for instance, there's a nine o'clock wedding at City Hall, your makeup will be very light, like bronze or whatever like that. You know what I mean? If you're getting married in the like midday to afternoon, you want to add a little more color, but not too much. Like if you're doing gold with a touch of orange or something like that to warm the skin. And if you're getting married more evening, going in tonight, then you will do something more dramatic because you want the makeup to show up underneath the lights and so on. But then the, that is more festive time of the day, evening going on tonight. You understand? So first you have to start off at looking at makeup artists. You could, add, Because of the internet now, you have access to things like Instagram and you could on Facebook and you could go and see makeup artists work. And in most cases, you would see customer reviews and most of them have, you know, a lot of um, things from their portfolio. You could see different events they did and you could, you know, check prices and whatnot. And in most cases, you could get a like a trial where you could say, well, my wedding is such and such time or whatever. I'd like to see your work up for, to see what kind of, you know, what options I have, like a consultation, so to speak. Some of them give you a free makeup just so you could have an idea if you want that or you think it's too dramatic or whatnot. It also has to do with what are the colors of your wedding for you to choose, you know, how your colors of your makeup go. If you want to go for just neutral with a little shimmer of silver or gold, or if you want a touch of your wedding colors in your makeup, it's really your choice. Or if you're just getting married at City Hall and you're just wearing a white dress or ivory and you just want to do like a clear lip gloss and natural looking makeup but still you wanna you wanna um look for reviews you wanna look at their work you wanna compare prices but while comparing prices you don't want to just only concentrate on the price because you could get someone who could do something for you dirt cheap but then the job is um very juvenile looking at best looks like in some cases like an eight-year-old did it testing out makeup you know what I mean so you don't want to compromise because there's certain events in life that there are no do-overs in most cases you know what I mean like a graduation or your wedding day most people get married once sometimes you might get married twice or three times but that's not you know the ultimate goal most people get married once and it's a big day and you're looking forward to it so you don't let the fact that you're trying to save money make you look like a circus like you're part of a circus parade you know what i mean so yes you want affordable price but you don't want to compromise the way you look because you're trying to save a dollar i'm all for saving but you also have to look for what's the best you could get within the budget that you set out for but always prepare prepare yourself mentally that what you have in your mind for the budget is not always what is realistic at this time you know what I mean? Because sometimes you think, oh, I'm only going to spend $50 on makeup, but a decent makeup job may cost like 75 You know what I mean? So um, price check, price check, price check. Look for references. Check out photos. See who's close in your area. If there's an additional cost to come into your home to do the makeup the day of, but see if you could get, you know, a little test. A little test run so you could see how you would look in certain colors. If you're not sure, if you're not a makeup person. You're not used to wearing makeup in your everyday life, but for your wedding day, you want to come out, you know what I mean, out of your shell. And you don't know how you would look, so you want them to try out different colors on you or whatever, so you could decide, well, this is the look I want. Um, most people are willing to do that. So check your options, take your time, and um, find the colors that look good on you, but also complements the theme and the color scheme of your wedding or as i said um at the very least if you want natural makeup with just you know a lot of bronze and so on you want it to look as natural as possible but you still want to be glamorous 
and you could stay for copper tones and golds and stuff like that. So um, start looking if you didn't already, because, you know, depending, we're already almost in summer, maybe your wedding is in the fall. Start looking into colors. Um, if you haven't decided on your wedding colors yet, best colors for fall are like oranges and browns and taupe and whatever like that so gold makeup and bronze and um like a little bit of orange those colors are perfect for the fall and um most uh, most likely if you well right now most summer weddings are postponed because we don't know what's going on with this situation but even for the summer a lot of oranges and pinks and yellows and greens and stuff like that you don't want to do too much but as i said if and you also have to find out if the if you're having a big event if the person is willing to do your makeup one way for the church and then turn it all the way up for the reception because as i said the night light and the daylight is two different things and the pictures you would want to do at the night time will be more um the makeup look you want will be more dramatic and then the night time is more festive for the party so you would want to turn it up a notch so if you had a light peachy color during the daytime and the nighttime with the lights and everything, you'd want to upgrade it to a more brighter orange and you'd want to, you know, change your lipstick from a very sheer gold to probably, you know what I mean, a coral or whatnot and live your best life on the one day, hopefully, that you're going to have like this. So check into all the options, compare prices, look for areas. Find out how much is the additional cost so they could stay around for the day to do your makeup for the church. And then the early part of the reception, if your makeup is wearing off or whatever, you was crying and you had to wipe your face and your mascara is all over your face, whatever. For a touch-up for the go enter into the reception and then for another touch-up um, later on in the night if you change dresses or whatnot. You have to keep all these things into consideration. Okay, so um, happy hunting. And as I say, check for references, for see what people say about the person if they showed up at a timely manner. That is important. If they, you know, did a good job. And besides the fact of them showing up and doing a good job, what is their demeanor like? Because that's a day that you already, you know, your nerve is already racked. And then you don't want somebody with a nasty attitude because the price is reasonable you want somebody who's per who has a nice personality and is very calming and soothing and they're not rude because you're under a lot of stress that day already so you need somebody who could keep you calm and when you're not sure what you want they're like no well i think let's try this or you say i don't really like how this is looking you know what i mean and they calm you down and say well you're not used to makeup so you know it will take a little getting used to instead of somebody who's going to be snapping at you and being rude when you're paying them money you know what i mean so you have to check out, do some background check the most you can. Check out their Facebook, their Instagram, wherever if they have a Yelp or whatever it is. Check out everything. Google them. Do what you got to do because you're spending your hard-earned money and you want to get the best you can for that day that most times you're not going to relive. So you want your day to, you know, there's always little hiccups, but you want where as far as you're concerned you want to do the best you can if for some reason it doesn't work out down the line you know that you've done the best you can as far as research go and whatever and as i said look for all the um reviews on the attitude the time frame you know the whole overall experience and kind of weigh the scale if there's two good ones and eight i mean two bad ones and eight good ones you're like okay eight out of ten is not bad but if you have eight bad ones and two good ones, that's a no-no. Next, moving right along. Okay? So I don't want to draw this out too much. But um, yes, you can start looking right now at colors, color palettes, and try to figure out what you want or idea at least of what colors you want. So you can kind of, you know, relay that information over to the makeup artist. Okay? So that will be all for today. Love you guys. See you in another video. Smooches.